Okay, so here we are, day two of the Namia Airwaves Dream Cup. It's the last stop on the Pedalway Tour for this year, and the titles will be decided. In the men's suite, super close. Cyril Musumani leading the world tour at the moment, but Antoine Albo is snapping at his heels. And actually, it's that close, it doesn't matter. It's whoever finishes ahead of each other at this event. But there is a sort of wild card. If they finish outside the top five, Pierre Mortifon can have a shot of it. He'd have to win and they'd have to be about five places back. In the women's fleet, it's a bit easier, I would say. Delphine Cousin has quite a healthy lead over her other opposition, so she just needs to finish within four points. She needs to finish in the top four, basically. If she finishes in the top four, she will win the world title for a second year running. Second and third, though, super close. Lena Erdl and Valerie Guibardo. Those two are neck and neck. Again, it's like the same in the men. Whoever finishes ahead of each other, that will uh, determine the title for second and third. And like I said, if Delphine Cousin finishes outside the top four, then one of those two could also win a world title. Forecast, how are we looking? Well, I'll tell you what, today it's on the edge. But I'll tell you what, I'm not even going to go into the weather. I'm going to bring uh, the local boy, Seb Pouillet. We're going to bring him in. He knows a bit more about this place. Third in the national championships this year in the mere. Seb, welcome. Hi. Okay. What do you think of today? Are we likely to get some wind to come in? Um, if the winds stay in that direction, I think it's uh, maybe not. Yeah, so it's tough. A, yeah, yeah, it has to turn to the normal uh, trade winds. Which direction. is more to the, to the left, left. So okay. south, east. East. When these normal trade winds come in, what sort of winds are we are we likely to see? What sort of conditions? Uh, it's uh, 15 to 25 knots. Okay. And um, sometimes even more, but um, this, is the, uh, this is the normal uh, range of winds. Yeah. And there's a lot of local, obviously, a lot of locals entered this competition. You have a very strong slalom fleet. You do, you have a, you have a main national championships. You were third in that. Yeah. Uh, and you have a tour as well throughout the year. Is that correct? That's correct. We are usually between 40 and 60 uh, races okay. on a race course. It depends on the format. Yeah. For the long distance, there are more people coming and joining us. And for the slalom, it's uh, 40 people. Yeah. Usually. When when does your season start here? Is this is this typical of the start of the season, or are we midway through? What, when do the trade winds it's, sort of kick in? Uh, usually, it's uh, between uh, February and uh, November. Okay. And uh, we do maybe uh, 12, 12 uh, weekends okay. throughout, throughout the years yeah. for the annual uh, challenge. Okay, so a lot of events. Yeah, yeah, a lot of events. So we can train a lot here. Okay, so with a lot of events, you've got you know a couple of guys that are famous for being on the tour. They're obviously, well, actually one of them's back, Robert yeah. Trutial. He's yeah. back on tour this year for this event. There's and he's on. quite a big icon here. Uh, and a lot of other guys as well. Do we have any up and coming guys we got to watch out for? You know, maybe something the guys wouldn't know at home, some young talent coming through. Who, who are we going to watch out for? The, the young are pushing really hard behind. And in fact, they are in the front, like uh, Axel Jordan, yeah. which is uh, really good this year. He's been the first uh, at the annual challenge and at the nationals too. So he won the national championships and the tour sort of thing, yeah, the local yeah. tour. Any other young guys pushing? Is there, or is there, there's quite a lot of, not older guys, but you know what I mean? I, I saw Lauren Calais, I used to do Mistral racing with him and he, he's still doing a, a fair bit of slalom racing, he said. Yeah, but it's, it's close to the 440. Yeah, I know, so trust me. <laughs> he's not uh, really in the same category as Axel. Yeah. But uh, he has a lot of experience. So at the start, it's really good at the Magi, the Marks. Yeah. And um, there are a lot of guys who are doing re really well here. Speed-wise, they are good. And uh, we can name uh, David Perper. Yeah. Fred Morin, who is uh, doing the, the He does the PDA, obviously. A lot of yeah. people will know Fred. For a couple of years now. Yeah. And uh, the young, like Axel Jordan, Damien Sarvera, etc. Yeah, so, and obviously yourself. Yeah, but I can't talk about myself. <laughs> we know the, the water, yeah. water state, etc. So it's a, an advantage for, for us, but uh, the pro are really um, uh, quick to, to get uh, to know the, the, the water states. Yeah. And um, 
Well, I think he summed it up. I think that's it. I mean, a lot of local talent this year. Uh, there's some older members coming up to 40. We've got the young guys, Axel, one to watch out for, for sure. Fred Morin, you know, seasoned Peter Bay rider in his home patch. Roberto Ritti are back on tour. It's set to be an absolutely amazing last competition of the year. So Airways really stepping up to make this uh, Namir Dream Cup happen. The forecast is looking good. If we don't get win today, tomorrow for the next four days, it's going to be going off. Tune into the live stream because we're going to have proper slalom action. Cheers, everyone.